I want to hear everything, and then I'll make my decision. I don't want you to tell me, you know, what my decision should be. But, you know, from, like, the different research I've done all across the world, all of the most ancient civilizations everywhere have the same stories about extraterrestrials. Like, it's not, you know, a random occurrence. Um, I can go, it's like a, you know, a unanimous idea or notion. It's like they wasn't in question back then. We're the ones that don't know, but they all knew. And uh, also, like South America, they, you know, they were actually finding uh, the little sculptures of the model airplanes and whatnot. And this was like 500 to 800 BC. And you know, that just shows that they did have a knowledge of flight. And they may have not been the ones flying, but if they had these sculptures, they at least saw these things. And you know, that's what all the ancient people did. You know, well, I'll get into that later, but. Um, mm-hmm. In Ecuador, there's carvings of little statues. They're small statues of men in astronaut suits, like the ones that we see today, like the suits we see today with the big glass over the face. And, you know, these are all ancient carvings. You know, people will say, well, somebody made them and put them up there, but whatever. But, you know, when explorers, you know, go to these indigenous places, even today, you know, there's places, they just found a place in South America that no one has ever been to, and there's a tribe living there. They had the pictures on the Internet and everything. And, um, really? Yep. I, um, I can actually find it before the show goes off and tell you where it's at. But, yeah, okay. they did, like it was a couple this summer, a couple months ago. It's a tribe down there. Uh, you couldn't really tell what color the people were there in South America, so I can guess what color they were. Because they had paint all over their bodies, and you could see like their homes. They were like long teepees kind of, but they were long, like. And, you know, the plane is flying over them, and the people are down there shooting spears at the airplane and whatnot. Because, you know, they you know they probably seen them fly over, but they don't know that they're people because they've never been contacted by, us, you know, supposedly civilized people. But um, I just say that to say, you know, when these indigenous cultures have these visitors come in, they always depict them in, like, their wall paintings, or they make these different types of sculptures and figurines. Uh, the more recent ones, the more you know, modern people that have been discovered. You know, they're making things out of like straw and clay. You know, they're not necessarily painting on the wall as much. But you know, mm-hmm. they just it just goes to show that you know these people are seeing things and they're creating them to show what they saw. Uh, you want to jump in there? You know, okay. what's funny is because, you know, we got this city, everybody so, you know, brainwashed with the alien concept. Who's to say that we don't have other beings from other planets living on this earth now that happen to look human just like we do? Because, you know, they always depict the character of a big head and a small body. That's mm-hmm. how aliens look. You know what I'm saying? True. Mm-hmm. Then again, who's to say that's just not really what they look like? Because, exactly. you know, one of the things that Trump brought out in the uh, chat room was NASA astronauts are, are not being truthful which is very true they're told to, to, to keep it hush-hush. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and anything they give us, they know way more than that. They just give us a little bit at a time, just like with the technology. When they give us uh, the iPod, they had the technology to make it 20 or 30 years before they actually give it to us. So there's no telling what they can make right now that they haven't given us. But you know how that go. They're not trying to share information with us. But right. you want to know what's funny? <laughs> if we if we believe in calling on our ancestors, we don't need them to share information. We know. <laughs> we know. Believe it or not, we know. You're right. But a lot of people don't believe in calling on their ancestors. They call on the spiritual forces to know that there are other things out there. So I can say I know what I know what I know. Exactly. If you can tell me anything, you don't have to tell me nothing. Because if you, if and we talked about how the, uh, we talked, I was talking with someone today about the pyramids, how if you, if you, <clears throat> He said, how he put it, he said, if you turn the pyramid a certain way, you do something with the pyramid, it aligns with the stars. Right. Yep, you know what I'm saying? So we know. It actually aligns with uh, the Orion Belt, the three pyramids. Uh, at certain dates and in, in throughout the year, the three pyramids align up with the three stars in the Orion Belt. And then the Sphinx is facing east on Earth. And if you, you know, superimpose that over the Orion constellation in the, you know, in the sky or whatever, the Sphinx, which is the head of a human and the body of a lion, is facing the Leo constellation, which is a lion again. But, you uh-huh. know, that just goes to show that the ancients who built that, they had a vast knowledge of the universe if they knew how to put them pyramids right there and line them up with the stars. 
That's very true. <clears throat> and I just let you know that astrology and numerology is not nothing we should not be knowing about because we should know, but we do know, but we just don't know how to activate that sense to bring it out. Right. <laughs> And well, and since we, we talking about the pyramids, uh, we you and I were talking about in Kemet. There's a city called um, Abydos, A B Y D O S, and that's the that's the city that has the glyphs of the helicopters, the spaceships, um, airplanes, and blimps and whatnot. You could type in that Abydos, and I'm pretty sure you guys could see the pictures right away. But that's what we were talking about the other day when. Uh, you asked the brother if he had ever saw the actual UFOs on the walls when he went to Kemet. Right. But, you know, so I just wanted to put that out there in case anybody wanted to check it out. And like I said, I've you know, I've seen them many a time. Now, some people say, oh, somebody carved a mare to trick us, you know, whatever. You know, I don't but. believe that. Just like you see the helicopters. And I noticed this when I was a young girl because I've been intrigued with Egypt ever since I was a young girl. I remember in fifth grade I, I drew the um, – King Tut picture, and that was back then. So I've always been intrigued with Egypt, and I noticed that back then. And I'm 38 mm-hmm. now, and I noticed airplanes on the walls. I noticed that um they had you know tools, and like they think we they thought we were um they thought we were um the the ones who no they thought they were the ones who created the airplanes and the, and the tools when that stuff was already around. Mhm. Exactly. And it's and the information is coming out that they probably got their information to make it nowadays from that ancient stuff. It wasn't like they created it. They they saw that stuff and you know developed it or whatever. They so told a lot about stuff. They it's told like, a lot about stuff. Nothing nothing's new. Nothing we see today is new. Put it like that. So. That's very true. Well, hold, hold on real quick because we got a caller. Let's see if we can take a call. Nine one zero. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Nikki? How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's a blessing to to, to be on topic or be here on this topic with you guys. Uh, I just wanted to share in one thing. For all those who say that there is no life on other planets, well, NASA have already shared with you that there is. So if if you if you're truly not understanding that it is, then shame on you. The, the the bottom line is NASA has found over 10,000 planets that's close to Earth with water on it. Where there's a water, there's life. They don't live on the outside the planet like we do here. They live on the inside the planet. So don't expect to see them on the outside the planet because they don't live there. And this is what this is what we must understand that most most people live in something not on the outside. It's just that we're on the outside here for a specific reason in which we won't go into right now. However, where there's water, there's life. That's wow. all that's all I, I want to know I wanna know what the reason is we live out <laughs> outside of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> he's on point though, I just wanna say, no doubt what he just said, he's on point. And people people gonna be like, Oh, he said they living in the planet. Well, you know, People got to raise their level of thinking from the mundane to the monumental. We know that the universe is much more vast than, you know, our home or our street or our city. But, you know, we just afraid to think that bit. Yeah, and you know what? That's because we've been, like uh, somebody said, we've been so programmed to believe that, you know, we're the only base. You know what? Another thing I heard, too, was that, you know, they, they, they know because they plan on trying to, and then I don't know how true this is, but trying to destroy all the people on this earth, and when something goes down, they're going to be taken off, <laughs> you know, to another planet. Because they know everybody's going to try to get on with them. Uh-huh. But the funniest thing, it might be the opposite, so they shouldn't be planning nothing. You know, they talk about the depopulation. Like I said, if everybody get a chance, punch in George Green's video and check it out. Talk about the uh, depopulation. They're trying to depopulate the planet because they're saying there's too many people on the planet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Myself, absolutely, and it's going. I mean, come, I mean, it's going on right now. People don't want to believe it, but I mean, it, it's, it's it's such a big level.